everyone. I'm Finchi, and I'm from the business school. I'm majoring in global business and economics. I'm now year three. So I would like to share more about like how the economics program in UST is. And first of all, some introduction about myself. I am like uh, I'm working like I'm joining a lot of school activities like business student ambassador business called Hot Community, and I even joined Musical and so on. And I've also worked in a few different companies, like uh, the banking side and the consulting side for my internships. I'm also working on a startup called Perspectiver, which is on IT. And now I'm on exchange to Korea University. So I'm now based, like I'm now in Korea. Yeah, and I've also joined multiple virtual exchanges before. And about today's sharing, my flow will be um, some will be like this. So I'll first introduce the economics curriculum to all of you guys, and I'll share more about my exchange. And last of all, I will also talk more about my startup. So what do we actually learn in economics? Here I listed four, four um, requirement causes of the economics curriculum. And uh, first of all, the manager of macro, uh, microeconomics is something that uh, is like the macroeconomic, uh, microeconomic parts that you learn in high school. It's just a little bit more difficult and they include more theory and application section. And uh, uh, the professor will also introduce some famous research paper to you in this course. And for the second one, manager of macroeconomics is also similar as your macroeconomics part that you learn in high school. And uh, it also includes a lot of research stuff because the teacher would, uh, like the professor would teach you how to do research properly and you will have a lot of chances to do research paper. And the econometrics course, it teach you how to use um, like uh, really data analytical skills and how to use programming to analyze some economic stuff. And the last one, the Econ 4670, uh, the research and communication, is actually a zero credit requirement that require you to do a research. And uh, if you look at my screen, you'll see that uh, a lot of causes here actually include research paper. So in a, mic a microeconomic part, you need to write a short, uh, like short, research paper, which is about 1,000 words. And in macroeconomic course, you will have a chance to work in a team and do a real research paper. And in the research and communication at course, you'll be able to do an individual really long um, research paper. So a point that I would like to talk about that uh, like I would like to bring up is that our economic curriculum include a lot of research stuff. So if you want to have a taste of what it's like uh, during your university life, economics major would definitely be a good choice for you. So like here are some paper that I've written before. So one of that is from the short paper from the microeconomic course, and one of that is the group paper from my macroeconomic course. And one point I would like to talk about, another point I would like to talk about is that some causes allow a substitution of exam score with research paper score. So if you did really well in your research paper, then your exam score is not important because your grade will be determined by your research paper. And I actually uh, did uh, better in my research paper for my macroeconomic course. So I didn't work really hard for my exam in that course. So this can be like this can be something that leads on your workload maybe, and it will be more fun because you don't need to only focus on exam and you can enjoy how how research or how how writing a research paper is like. And uh, besides having research paper and uh, learning how to write research uh, in the courses, you can also join a program called Europe undergraduate research opportunity program where uh, you can follow some professor to do research or you can propose a project that you want to uh, do and find supervisor to help you on that and I think this is a really good part of HAUSD because not a lot of school have this kind of program yeah and moving on I'll talk about my exchange to Korea University and actually a lot of people ask me like why I go to Korea instead of some Western country. And I actually post my answer on the uh, like HAUST BCUG Instagram. 
Instagram, and you can look into that if you're interested in that. And uh, here are some uh, a glance through of my uh, of my exchange. Like uh, I am studying in Korea University now, and I have joined a lot of societies there. So I actually hang out with friends every day and uh, play play around a lot, and I really enjoy my life there. Yeah. So um, like some people think that going to exchange is just about traveling. But to me, I think going to exchange is like, I want to try to live a local life in Korea. So for example, I joined, I even joined a board, uh, the board of a society and I organized OCHEM for that club. Yeah. And I also joined the choir. So I have a performance before and I even get my driving license there. So that is actually a really great experience. And I would like to say uh, a lot of students in UST actually go to exchange at least once. And uh, that is a really good experience for everyone as well. And then moving on to the next part, I'll talk about my startup. Like I'm actually working on a startup now. And uh, this is kind of like a trend in UST, but a lot of students don't, don't only aim for big company, but they actually, uh, work on some startup, yeah. And UST also provide a lot of support on startup programs. Like they have a lot of competition and programs and uh, workshops for startup. And we also have an entrepreneurship minor if you are interested in startup, especially. Yeah, and uh, through the help of UST, I met a group of uh, like a group of co-founders and we came up with something about video to text and we work on this since 2020 and we are now having over 20k of users and over five companies uh, of partners and we also secured about like uh, like quite a lot of funds and we have office in china as well as hong kong yeah and uh I think USC helped us a lot in terms of this because uh, basically all the mentorship and how we get our funds, all the connection that uh, we build with investor, there are a lot of them from UST. So if you are interested in startup, you can also like think about think about it this way is that like it is not of us to have a career company can be in our like to work it out and uh so my sharing will be till here and if you have anything that you want to ask me about then you can go to my instagram and dm me or you can also go to the hust bcug instagram and i'm having an instagram takeover this week so if you want to see how my life is like in ust then you can go to HAUST BCUG and follow our page and see how my life is like. And I will also have a, a you, like you can also ask me question there every day. I'll answer them every day. So if you have any questions or whatever that you are interested in, or like uh, you just want to chat with me or whatever, just go to our Instagram page and DM us. Yeah, so this is the end of my like sharing and Ambrose will also share more about the ECOF major. Like what I've shared is the econ major. Right. Thanks a lot, Vinci, for your really wonderful sharing. I personally you have no idea how much I want to go to Korea right now. I'm just so stuck in Hong Kong for quite a long time. But anyways, let me just share my screen. And yeah, okay. Are you can you guys see the screen right now? Okay, great. Thanks. Okay, so hi, I'm Ambrose. So I'm from the ECOF major. So it's a really great pleasure to see you guys here today. And yeah, so just a little bit about myself is that I'm, yeah, just like most of you, all of you, I'm born and raised in Hong Kong and I'm in the uh, ECOF program right now. And I'm studying in my year two right now and proceeding into my year three of studies. Yeah, so I'm also admitted from Jupiter and I'm, I'm in the program-based admission as well. So back then I took uh, economics, accounting and physics and also M1. So yeah, so that's a little bit about me. But why did I chose economics and finance is that I, I had a strong interest in macroeconomics back when I was in high school. And then, so so that's why I'm in economic and finance. But, uh, but how 
exactly is the econ program different from the ECOF program is that you can see uh, from the curriculum side of things you can see on your left hand side there is a there's a sort of difference in the in the course curriculum so as Vinci has mentioned there are managerial macroeconomics microeconomics in the econ program yes we do have in ECOF we do have macro and micro but uh, what are the differences that we have more emphasis on quantitative and analytical training and that and that there's and of course it's more like mathematical based so we have more modeling we have more statistics we have more calculus so that's the differential between the two majors yeah so and yeah but speaking of mathematics you can see on the bottom most econ 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 ECOF column, there is a multi variable calculus and also mathematics or economist column as and that and that so that's the math math side of the business yeah so aside from this uh, econ don't have a finance requirement as you can tell from the name but finance ECOF ECOF major have uh, have a few finance courses that you may want to take yeah so I believe that there is a really great synergy between like macroeconomics especially and also finance as like and many finance variables and also financial products they stock bonds currencies whatever are really correlated with macroeconomic policy so I believe that especially in the in right now, it's really good to uh, learn both macroeconomics and also finance and to, and to link the two of them. Yep. So the, I, I believe that this program, ECOF program, is really good for both career development and also for the studies. Yeah. I will go through a little bit about the career development side on my internships, et cetera, et cetera. But for further studies part, because high level economics and finance are more focused on mathematics. So from the ECOF program, you have more like quant training and also mathematics training. So that really preps you through the really, through your way if you want to get into master's so also PhD at probably USD or other more prestigious universities. Yeah. So on the career development side, so uh, and I've like been through quite a few internship experience. Yeah, Vincy has talked a lot about her exchange, etc., academics. And let me talk a little bit about the career side of business. Yeah. So onto the internships. I've been through quite some. And so most of them are more like economics and finance related. But of course, these are not the only options that you may get into. These are only just some of my, my past experience because I have like great interest in econ and finance. So yeah, the first one is like in WeLab. I, I bet you guys have seen the tram with the tram with the colorful debit card advertisement so that's we lab and I, I was there at a capital markets intern i will get and get a little bit more in depth later but yeah on to my second experience is private technologies what's that is that uh, we provide and uh, we provide services to different private banks so what are private banks is that they help like rich clients to manage their money so you know, rich people have lots of money. They want to invest in different stuff, say bonds, stocks, and they also need to plan on different stages of their life. So probably you want some tax planning, you want some estate planning, you want some insurance protection. So private banks help these companies, help these like rich people to manage their assets and also wealth. And yeah, so private technologies provide uh, tech, tech services to private banks essentially. So what tech services? Uh, uh, because like rich people need portfolios, right? But what are portfolios? They want to buy different stocks, bonds, and also different asset class. So we need systems to, to model these portfolios. So private technologies uh, provide these systems to private banks, which in then in turn provides to rich people. Yeah, it's quite a lot for a, for a, for a Wednesday morning. But anyway, so what I do is that I, I was in the investor relations team. So we pitched to we pitched to investors to invest in private technologies, essentially. So I did quite a lot of like presentations, PowerPoints back then. And yeah, it was a really great experience because I need to learn about the product itself. And I also need to have like great PowerPoint skills as a junior. So that's that probably coincides with my major as well. Yeah. So moving on to the spring, uh, this year I've been with Asian Capital uh, as a corporate finance intern. What is that? Is that uh, we and we help companies do different kinds of businesses. So for example, when companies want to go on IPO, we help them raise money. Probably companies want to get money, we help them get money uh, from debt. And also on onto more later stages of the company development, uh, they probably companies want to have mergers and acquisitions. So for example, uh, HSBC wants to buy another smaller company. 
or probably another larger company wants to buy HSBC, something like that. So that those are called mergers and acquisitions. Essentially, they're buying other companies. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So I'm I was there to help the company to do all these initiatives. But of course, as a junior intern, I'm I, I just do some basic modeling work and a little bit of the admin administrative work back then. But it was a really great experience because I need to have lots of uh sort of finance knowledge back uh, uh when i get into the job yeah so like looking forward into summer 2022 i will be going into like ubs which is a private bank which is one of the largest private banks in home in in the world yeah so what is private bank i've just mentioned is that we just serve rich clients yeah so that was the whole experience and yeah by the way just a just a straight just a Side note, yeah, I was having a virtual exchange as well, like Vinci uh, in, in Tsinghua University this semester uh, and covering game theory that the, 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 the fill that Wu Yang has covered. Yeah, so I will be having an examination later, but yeah. And yeah, just let me tell you guys what is WeLab and how does it like really correlate with economics and finance program. Yep. And back then when I was in WeLab, I was in capital markets. So essentially WeLab provides loans to like different consumers so for example you as a consumer wants to get loans from us so you come to find us oh probably i want to borrow one million and so we will give you a rate on probably you need a 20 percent uh, interest rate something like that yeah but as a company itself i need to find uh, I, I need to borrow new money so where does the money come from i need to borrow from other banks so i deal with other banks to get the money here and then i borrow it back to you so essentially that's the business and yeah but uh, when we borrow money from other banks, we need to look at different macroeconomic variables because that affects our interest rate. So how much I need to pay interest to the banks itself. So you can see from the right hand right hand picture is that I need to look at like different uh, rates, inflation rates, uh, treasury yields, to which in fact determines our rate of borrowing and also the interest rate. So at the macroeconomics, uh, macroeconomics background that I had in USD and the ECOP program really helps me a lot when I get into the job, but because the job is like quite quant and quite macroeconomics related. So I would say that I've really actively applied the macroeconomic concept that I've learned in class, which is a really good thing. And or else I will be like totally lost when I get into the job. Yeah, right. So that's the, that's, I've, I've talked a lot about the uh, career side and internship side, but yeah, of course, these are just only some examples of internships. You can also get into different th different different fields, like, like as Rich said, entrepreneurship, or maybe some of my classmates got into consulting, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, you've got plenty of fields, but this is just one of the more econ and finance related uh, thingies. Yep. Right. Of course, um, as a student, I've got like plenty of other stuff to do as well. And I've been to, I've been a master of ceremony of HSBC, and I've also uh, did different financial modeling for investment groups. So for example, I've covered real estate and yeah. So what is modeling is that I just give a price to a company is, and but how I just project, for example, I project their revenues and I also say, oh, probably I think the company is worth uh, 2 billion or so. And I will justify why it is, it is so. Yeah, and aside from that, I've, I've also joined different like ECAs such as the HKUSD Business School Work Community, which is under USD Business School. And yeah, I've, I really had a great time with them. We organized different events for business school students. And yeah, it was a, we were having our bi-weekly meeting in the, in the photo, photo below. Yeah, and finally, of course, I will spare some time to wine and dine and chill with my friends. And yeah, I really like enjoying good food and good scenery, good interior design, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, and finally, often I got a question that how do I manage all of these hardcore stuff is that I use two, two thingies, Google Calendar and also my Moleskine, which is a notebook. So I put, put down essentially everything inside so that I can organize better my life and also see what I would need to do and, and predict the time required more efficiently. Yeah, so on left is like an average week of mine. So yeah, so basically that's it. So that's all for my sharing. So feel free to contact me at Instagram, LinkedIn, whatever, WhatsApp. So yeah, hope you to see you guys in USC Business School. And yeah, just, just feel free to find me if you have any things that you want to know. Yeah, so thanks all. Thank you.